Welcome back to Gold Rush, the game on console for episode 10 with me, Mr. Silly P. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> this is, uh, this audio is being added on after the fact. I decided to bite the bullet and go and buy old Arnold's Trommel. We have moved over, it was saying winter, it now says seven days to permafrost. Each one has been ten days. So I'm assuming seven days and then when the permafrost hits, the ground fro freezes and then we're, we're really stuck. The reason I'm swapping out now, as you can see, is our first trommel, the chain broke. Now that's no reason to change it out, I can just buy a new chain, of course. But I was talking about getting old Arnold's trommel anyway. So I thought it would make sense at this point to take the old trommel out, buy old Arnold's trommel, put it in, and then I'll take the other one, put it to one side, and then we'll fix the chain at a later date. That way I can either sell it, or I can use that on the next um, parcel of land on the next setup, potentially. But what I was also very aware of, why I didn't do the audio, why I didn't talk while I was doing this originally, was because I knew what an absolute car crash it was going to be. Because the problem is, with old Arnold's trommel, well, no, that's the good one, old Arnold's trommel, all of the hookup points are in the centre of the trommel. On this one, they're at either end. So I've got the five metre cables and not the sevens. I have done it, I've used the sevens. They will hook up, but you need to be, well, you need to have your um, crane loader um, excavator is the word I'm looking for. I have leased the large one, I haven't bought it just for doing this job. Um, it needs to be in a very specific position. You get the position just right, you can hook the chains up, lift it, no problem. You get it wrong, and it's an absolute nightmare. So, as you can see, the problem I was having was getting into a position where I could get to each of the chains when I had each of the chains, then making sure I could get them out to reach either end was proving difficult. So what I'm going to do is at this point, I'm going to leave it there and let's jump ahead. Fingers crossed, we're doing a little bit better. I'll be honest, we're not. I got three of the chains to hook up, the fourth wouldn't. I don't know why it's doing that. It's like, oh great. So that... I, I just, I, yeah, um, at this point, <laughs> it's just a case of get it out of the way. Um, if I can drag it, it shouldn't damage anything else. It's just following along the line it was in anyway. Put it to one side and get the other one in, I, I think. <laughs> I'm in two minds at this point whether to carry on talking through this bit or just to leave it for your visual pleasure. Even if it's just for you to look at and say, oh, I'm not doing it that way. And I wouldn't blame you in the slightest. But what I'm going to do is put the new trommel in. Then hopefully out of the way I'll be able to hook up the old one better. We'll take that out of the way. And we'll put it to one side. <sighs> <This just, laughs> I wanted to show it. Um, and I was really hoping taking the old trommel out would go a bit better. I think had I used the 7 metre cables it probably would have worked a little bit easier. And again, you may be one of those people that you just, you drove in, bang, hooked up, wallop, moved, no problem at all. It happens to the best of us and the rest of us.
It's now nearly one o'clock in the afternoon. Old Arnold Strummel is in. I've run through one cycle, or say one cycle, one load through here, not a full 100% cycle. We'll see how much more efficient it is. That's the next test, is having that trommel in. Will I get more gold? I should do, it's supposed to be more efficient. But what I also wanted to show you at this point is that I've hired two more workers in the time since I last saw you. Uh, so we have got, hang on, let's come back. We had these two already, Daryl Setzer and Thaddeus Petri. We've now got Carter Iverson, who's conveyor belt hopper, adds 2.36% to the wash plant system performance as a whole. That's gone up, I think, twice now, how, depending on how many days I've had it. And we've also got uh, WM Rife TDJ sluice box. So it says auto swap miners mosses from nearby, uh, from area nearby level two is when he will then add to the wash plant performance now at the moment i'm not in a position where i'm running it automatically if i was again this an assumption um down the side of the wash plant system on the duplex jigs we have got these extra slots here and if you look here, we've got our mats, but these ones here, when you pick up a rolled up mat, these kind of cups, you can put mats in those. So I assume the situation will be that if it's con uh, continue running, if you've got spare mats in there and you reach 100% full, he will swap the mats out or the mats will get swapped out. Where they put them, I don't know. Whether they just put them back in those slots so then you have a load of mats with gold in I'm not too sure but you'll also notice everything's at 65 percent apart from these two here which are 27. i don't understand how i seem to lose two buckets the two buckets under my duplex jig vanished i have bought spares and i've got spare ones here um, because i thought at some point there's going to be a situation where you're going to have a worker that will be swapping these buckets out as well uh and so yeah it's just just a case of as we move forward seeing what workers we get uh, I ran the pump, we're at, oh I think I've topped up again, but that should be full, the water tower, I think, we should be at a position now, no, we want that, and we want that, yeah, I'm pushing side to side, it's not requiring me to put any fill in that, so I think that's got, I'm sure I said it was a million litres that holds, that's full, so what I'm going to do now, is run through until we get to 100%, now, trouble is it's going to be off a bit because those two buckets are missing they're not going to be completely full so i may be a little bit lower on this cycle round anyway but what i'm doing now is aiming towards whichever next piece of equipment i can afford really i mean i want to swap out the shaker for the next piece these two stay the same no matter what happens and then we're looking at changing up for planters and changes onto the duplex jigs and things like that to get more efficient oh yeah uh, thank you to peter who is i think the first person to message me about multiple drills because i used the drills in the last one healing and drilling if we go on to here and here and we go to the plots you'll see all the ones i've been out and drilled on but if i zoom in onto a plot weirdly see a lot of people have been saying you could you do multiple drills on each plot and it gives you a more accurate i think 190 i did but if, like i've just clicked on that 190 and it's come up saying 288 square 288 where's that So why is it not? Oh, there you go. 190. And if we zoom in. It gives us a bit more information about it. You get multiple drills on each one. How many grams? 288. 304. And it kind of tells you at what depths the grams are going to be coming out at. Now, rich spot part, I haven't got any more information on that. I don't know how many you can do per square, 
But the thing about it is, it took me ages to do those. If you're going to go out and do, like, I don't know, I suppose what I need to do is stick on one plot and see just how many drills I can do. I'll probably do that at a later date too. Um, we'll come back to that and we'll see just how many drills you can do on one square. Four might be the maximum. It could be you could just completely cover that entire square. So I need to test that too. But we are going to carry on and I'm leaving myself a gap to one side so I can still get my vehicles through at the top of my quarry because that was my mistake I made before. So yeah, the next phase then is checking out old Arnold's Trommel. We'll run a full set through and see if we do get more. We should. How much more? I don't know. But we will find out. Someone also said who, I can't remember who put in the comments, about the various different workers. If you get the worker for the wheel loader, it speeds up the hydraulics. I need that. It's the one thing I'm finding. It's all well and good if you're going halfway up or part way up. If you want to bring it right the way down to the floor, it takes a little bit of time for the uh, hydraulics to chug down. You might also notice that I've got blue hydraulic lines on both sides of the wheel loader. I can't remember if I mentioned it. On the episode where I, I blew a line that had to change out and I decided to buy a reinforced one, I got back fixed it did two loads and the second line blew on the other side as well so i bought another reinforced one that side too both reinforced they should last a lot longer and i will see you later on let's hopefully get more gold i mean we are going to get more gold but i mean like more more if you know what i mean I'm just in the process of turning everything back on. <laughs> the last two runs through the gear have been two of the better uh, amounts of gold that I've got. That said, they still weren't full runs. It wasn't a potential success for two reasons. <laughs> the first one, I had a problem here. Oh yeah, the two buckets that were missing. So. That, uh, they were only at 40 something percent, no, 60 something percent by the end of the run. The second run through the gear, I have just had breakdown and failure and problem after problem. The electric motor went on this duplex jig part way through, and I had no idea. So all of these were on 47 percent, these were on 47 percent, and these were on 47 percent. The other duplex jig was all at 100 percent, as was the top of the trommel. So I got 1,800 grams off of that run and it wasn't a full run through. So this time I'm hoping we're gonna be all right. I've had three duplex jigs pumps go. I have had, what else went? I've had another hydraulic hose go on the shaker. I had a bucket go on the conveyor belt. I had the battery went on the pickup. That just packed up out of nowhere. Um, what else has gone wrong? all sorts of stuff but i have added i've moved one set of lights over here so one faces down into this sort of quarry area and one's facing backwards here now so i've got the better lit area here and i bought a fourth one which i'm now running over here which points more into that corner of the quarry too so i kind of light up a bigger chunk of the quarry that's the plan but the problem is now i'm really conscious of keeping a check on everything to make sure I don't get any more red cogs pop up with damage because I want this I want it all to run through the gear I need to get a full hundred percent on everything it's going to be because we're in winter heading towards permafrost although it's only minus 4.2 at the moment it was minus 11 earlier and that could be another reason why gear is failing because we're in winter it's cold and we're getting issues although that is a reinforced hydraulic line now so I'm hoping that that doesn't go although the springs on here look like they were wearing just it's all fun and games isn't it so what we'll do now 
is getting to here. But I want to keep an eye out to the left. It is going down. Good. Because if the buckets on the conveyor belt are still tipping in and I tip a full load into here, it can overload the shaker at the other end. And so it's just, it's better to make sure all the buckets are empty on the conveyor belt before I tip again, then I don't overload any of the system anyway. That's, that's where I'm at. Hopefully, this is gonna be the interesting one because this should be a full run with old Arnold Strommel. I can already see from what we've done so far that it's made a massive difference. That and the fact that we've got some workers who obviously each day are improving so, no, it's because I'm talking, I've got into the habit of just doing it all by rote and then as soon as I started talking, completely forgot. Oh, it's done it again, look. If that's that spring, I was just saying, and now I'm going to have a problem. Not another bucket on the conveyor. Shut it all down! Stop! Ah, <laughs> oh, dear me. Turn the water off so I'm not wasting it. Because that will carry on running through all the sluices and what not. Yep. I'm hoping it's not something really serious, that it is just another bucket. Or maybe I have to replace all of the buckets. That's a bit of a worry. Yeah, bucket's gone. So I need crowbar. <sighs> a couple of people I think might have missed the episode or when I unlocked the equipment store so I can have stuff delivered. I need parts. I've had this weird thing happening and I don't know whether it's me i haven't pressed anything to the right at this point but every time i go to buy something there's something else in the bucket already right conveyor belts bucket one click on checkout reinforced trommel chain why is that in there i did not put that in there or is that my so i am wondering every time i go on there's something else in here whether or not my mechanic is that a thing? Is the, does the mechanic put stuff in there to tell you you need to order that because it's going to break? Or, again, is that... Am I imagining that? Because I'm pretty sure I did not click on anything. But I don't think... The trommel's fairly new. It can't be broken already. So anyway, another bucket. There are a lot of buckets on there. That's going to get really expensive if they're just going to... I mean, of course, they're all going to gradually wear out. But I wouldn't have thought there'd be this many so soon. Right, let's sell that. Pick up the new one. Put that on. And we can go again. So I say, this is, this is my third run through the gear. And I haven't managed to get a full run through yet without something breaking without a failure of some description so uh right red cog's gone are we good to go again i really hope so no i don't know whether or i should be putting this on first then the water i worry about that running and there being no water running through the gear so i've just got into the habit of turning the water on first although i'm going to check something as well because what i have found I've been using this, like, a lot, and at no point is it now telling me I need to put any more water in. I haven't run this pump for absolutely ages. It's like the water tower's now full and doesn't seem to need refilling, and I don't know why. It should do, really. Right, no more cogs, please. My engineer, my mechanic, is hovering above this. That does move around from bit of equipment to bit of equipment. I don't know if that's a warning. Because weirdly it's been over various different bits of machinery that haven't broken. But it never seems to be over the ones that do. 
Right, what are we up to? 83%. I think I should do another... Another full load on the dump truck, maybe? Another thing I've been doing as well, and I don't know whether I should be or not. But now that's stopped, I've been just going on and switching off the bits that have finished. Again, so they don't run too long, or don't get extra wear. That's obviously still running. Once that runs dry, I'll turn that off and then leave that to run. Like I say, I don't know if that's how you should be doing it, but... No red cogs, come on, no red cogs. Don't want any problems. Good old Arnie, good old Arnie's trouble. Right, that's done. Let's turn that off. Ooh. Stop the conveyor belt. That's its last 8%. Then we'll turn off the system, and I'll go again. So I, I have been, up till now, believe it or not, right, I'll just turn all the lights on because I want those. I've been leaving it running for a little bit, every now and again. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> you have got to be kidding. <laughs> I need a new button for the generator. <laughs> oh. Honestly, I just... What else can go wrong? <sighs> I didn't turn the water off, did I? Easy way to check, because it's still running out of there. Yes, right. Let's turn the water off. I'm going to go and get a button. I'll see you again when everything's at 100%. Barring the whole rig exploding or something devastating. <sighs> New button. Hooray. This should be the one. This should be the one that tells me, tells us, whether old Arnold's trommel is literally worth its weight in gold. We've done a full run. We've done a full run with 100% on all the mats and all the tubs and buckets. and It's all been run through the magnetite separator. And at this moment, I've got 82% in the magnetite bucket, which means when we go down to the blacksmiths, We'll get rid of the magnetite, uh, we should be able to do some nice upgrades on that. But, the wavetable is fully loaded. All of these buckets are ready to go on the wavetable from this run through. So, let's find out. You watch it. This is going to be one of the worst ones I've had. Farm Dogs is convinced it's going to be terrible. We'll see. So every time that gets down to 50%, I'll chuck another bucket on. We'll see what we end up with. I, anything over 1,800 grams, to my mind, would be a success. I mean, that's incredible. When I consider I started changing over everything onto the Tier 3 setup, and my first two runs after Tier 3, I barely went over 900 grams, and I really panicked. It kind of gradually crept up. I had some 1,200s, 1,3s, a couple of 1,5s. Then getting old Arnold's trommels, e trommel, even with a couple of issues uh, with various different problems and breakdowns I had, I still managed to get, I think, was it a 1.7 and a 1.8? So this is the first full run through with no problems. We shall see, won't we? Actually, one of those needs to go back under there. I will swap out the magnetite bucket. When we finish on this, we will see what we get, and that will be where I'm going to end this episode. Next episode, we're going to head into town, we're going to convert the gold, or we're going to do the blacksmith upgrades, whatever upgrades we can do, we're going to do next. Uh, then we're going to convert all our gold, and then we'll see whether or not we've got enough money we should have for hopefully a new shaker, the next one in the line of, you know, what's acceptable. <laughs> that's the plan we'll see how we go we're rapidly heading towards permafrost i hope this works out really really good or it could be an unmitigated disaster and i could get less than i've had in ages we will see i'm just thinking with the magnetite the last couple of times I emptied the magnetite bucket, I was only on about 40% in the bucket. That's on 82%. That's going to be a load of magnetite. 
you know, it's not going up as fast as I thought it would. We'll see. Still got a few buckets to get through. That's only a small one. That was the last bit that came off of the uh, magnetite separator. I do need to do that test as well with um, doing more drills on each area. So I'm still not certain. But one of these buckets needs to go to the duplex jig and then one of them is spare. I normally just have knocking about just in case, you know. Where are we looking? I'm trying to work it out mentally from what we started off with. Actually, this is looking pretty good, isn't it? Well, one can go over there, that's the spare. Five will get filled with water. I'm still not using the, uh, the what do you call it? I can't remember the name of it. That's the last bucket in. This is the most gold I've had on hand at any point. Uh, that one's going to go and just sit there for the time being. And let's see what the final tally ends up being. If it's over 2,000 grams, that's going to be insane. Oh, the tension. The excitement. It's palpable. Are we going to clear 9,000 grams? We might, you know. Or is it going to wimp out on me in the last bit? Come on, clear 9,000. <gasps> what did we just get? 2,196 grams of gold on one run through the system. That is crazy. So, old Arnold's Trommel, worth it? Absolutely it's worth it. Right, let's turn the water off. And on that happy note, as you can tell, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a pretty good result. Let me check this again. I'm curious about that. Yeah, still not saying it needs any water. I'm not knocking it. I'm going to turn everything off. And then what we will do in the next episode is we're going to head into town. We're going to head into town. So, oh yeah, the magnetite bucket. I must have forget that. Let's just hop over here. And swap out the magnetite bucket. We'll take that, put that in the pickup. And that's where you'll see me next. Very happy boy. Changing gold bars. Or changing gold bars. Smelting gold bars. And seeing what we can afford to do next on our setup. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're thinking about getting old Arnold's Trommel, I would. If you have enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <gasps> Just fell over.